Now to the Trump presidency and a day that was to celebrate the Super Bowl champions instead became the latest episode in a long simmering feud between the president and professional athletes. The White House called it a celebration of America. It is my great pleasure to welcome everyone to the White House for this patriotic celebration. The event was originally scheduled to honor the Super Bowl champion Philadelphia Eagles, but the president canceled that when he found out fewer than 10 players planned to attend. Mr. Trump's initial excuse was that the Eagles players disagreed with him about standing for the national anthem, although no Eagles player had taken a knee during the anthem last season. So Tuesday, there was a different excuse. This wasn't a political stunt by the Eagles franchise. Then they wouldn't have planned to attend the event and then backed out at the last minute. But Eagles player Malcolm Jenkins tweeting, it takes courage to stand up for the truth. Instead, the decision was made to lie and paint the picture that these players are anti-America, anti-flag, and anti-military. Jenkins raised a fist during the anthem to protest social injustice against African Americans, the cause behind all the players' protests. We stand to honor our military and to honor our country. We stand to show our love for our fellow citizens and our magnificent Constitution. But Philly's mayor said it's the president who isn't honoring the Constitution. They put the First Amendment first for a reason, uh, and the president wants to ignore the First Amendment and other amendments in, in, in the Constitution and uh, force people to view things and act and speak the way he tells them to, and that's not what this country is about. And the two stars facing off in the NBA Finals currently underway say they can save the president some time and trouble. Both LeBron James and Steph Curry say no matter whose team wins, neither will send players to the White House.